called my grandma, my Anna. Anna means mother in Yupik. One day she, she sat me down and she said, school you're going to go to school. I can't leave you. You're my mom. It was hard my first year. I used to cry at the end of the window facing toward Catholic. And my mom would come and say, Grandma is down there. Grandma's waiting for you. You got this many months to be here and you'll be fine. So we're talking about metaphors, right? What kind of metaphors do you see in here? See a metaphor? Murder? All right, where do you see murder? All right. When I graduated from high school, I went home and I said, Anak takwa. When she came to greet me, I'm all done. My grandma asked, um, Kid do sit. I said, Nita. She didn't respond to me. Then she asked, Kid do sit. Are you a nurse? I said, no. Ah, post office Are you postmistress? I said, no. And then she said, you're not done. Then my thought, oh my gosh. That means I have to go to college. More school. <laughs> She said, um, in your lifetime, there will be many white people. You have to know who they are, what they do, and how they live their life. You could adopt, adapt, use their strategies if it's worth doing. Know how to get along with them, but you'll never forget who you are, being a Yupik. Through all of this dancing, we have prayer, we have spirituality, um, and the land, water, and, and our storytelling. 
they're all in there. Maybe because I was rooted in my culture and language, and maybe my grandmother was watching me. Wherever she is, she probably was saying, hey, <laughs> you've learned those ropes now. Go back and help your own, own people. <laughs>